This video is about finding the slopes of tangent lines for curves defined parametrically. To find the slope of the tangent line for a curve y equals p of x, given in ordinary Cartesian coordinates, we just take dy dx, or equivalently, we calculate p prime of x. If the curve is defined parametrically, by the equations x equals f of t, y equals g of t. To find the slope of the tangent line, we still want to find dy dx. But since our curve is given parametrically, we don't have ready access to dy dx. Instead, we'll need to calculate it from dy dt and dx dt, which are easy to get from our parametric equations. To relate dy dx to dy dt and dx dt, we just need to use the chain rule. Recall that the chain rule says that dy dt is equal to dy dx times dx dt. So rearranging, we know that dy dx is equal to dy dt divided by dx dt. And that's how we'll calculate the slope of our tangent line. We can write this formula equivalently as dy dx is equal to g prime of t over f prime of t. Now let's use these formulas in an example. For the Lissajous figure given by these equations and drawn below, let's find the slopes of the tangent lines at the center point with x and y coordinates of zero and let's find the way the tangent line is horizontal. The slope of the tangent line is given by dy dx, which is dy dt divided by dx dt. Now dy dt is going to be cosine of 2t times 2, and dx dt is going to be negative sine of t. Taking the ratio, we see that dy dx is twice cosine of 2t over negative sine of t. Now we want to calculate this slope not when t is 0, but when x and y are 0. x is 0 when cosine of t is 0, which is when t is pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. Those are the only t values that work in the interval of t values that we're interested in. And it's easy to check that when t has these values, then y, which is sine of 2t, is also going to be 0. So we want to calculate dy dt at t equals pi over 2 and at t equals 3 pi over 2. Plugging into our formula for dy dx, we get twice cosine of pi divided by negative sine of pi over 2, which simplifies to positive 2. And when t is 3 pi over 2, we get twice cosine of 3 pi over negative sine 3 pi over 2 which simplifies to negative 2. So our tangent lines at the origin have slopes positive 2 and negative 2. Next, let's find where the tangent line is horizontal. From the figure, there should be four places. If we set dy dx equals 0, we get that 2 cosine of 2t over negative sine of t needs to be 0, which means that we need cosine of 2t to equal 0, or 2t to equal pi over 2 plus some multiple of pi. Solving for t, we get that t has to equal pi over 4 plus some multiple of pi over 2. There are indeed four such values of t in the interval from 0 to 2 pi, and those are pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 
5 pi over 4, and 7 pi over 4. We can find the x and y coordinates of these points simply by plugging in these values of t into our original equations. Here are the xy coordinates of those four points. In this video, we saw that for a curve given by parametric equations, the slope of the tangent line is given by dy dx, which is dy dt divided by dx dt.